How's it going? It's Craig here with another video and today we are talking about Battlefield 1. Now this is going to be a kind of review video but not. Everyone knows this game is amazing and reviews have been out for nearly six weeks and everyone knows Battlefield 1 is probably one of the best games of the year. But what I want to talk about today is Battlefield 1 not being so much a game but a history lesson. So what does Battlefield 1 teach us? After all it's an FPS, it shouldn't be teaching you anything other than press R2 and shoot. That statement is completely false. This game is a history lesson and a reminder to us all of the horrors of war. The prologue, for example, is designed so that you don't live. You go through it, three or four different characters you die every single time and it comes up with the name of the character you're playing the year of birth and year of death they then go on to show four or five small missions kind of like mini films that puts you in the perspective of different people during the war now what the game does really well is it doesn't take sides it's not saying that one country was to blame for all of this it was simply giving a perspective and a little bit of a history lesson as to what it was like for these young men during this horrendous period and what it shows really well during these four missions is that waste was just rife during this war and it's, it's not funny at all the amount of people that were just running to an objective and getting mowed down over and over and over again and the way Battlefield is designed, it's, it's, I think it's fairly easy for DICE to show how horrific that was. Again, their new mode operations where it's kind of like Rush where you you have to hold or attack two flanks, a small bit of land. Once you're there, you retreat and you go to the next set of flags and then the next set and the next flag. And that's basically what happened during World War One. These young men were fighting over tiny, tiny bits of land and DICE have done a really good job of showing that. Now, it's hard to end this video because it's, it's such a tragic, tragic time of history, but they have done a really, really good job of showing it. And what I would say is that in the current climate where there is lots of random, horrendous attacks going on throughout the world, people need to remember that war is wasteful destructive to life it is not worth these young men and our women now as well putting themselves on the line over something stupidly ridiculous and tiny it wasn't worth it then it's definitely not worth it now now I'm all for our army, our soldiers, they do the best job in the world and they don't deserve to be put in that situation where they're going to have to fight over a stupid tiny bit of land. This game has done an awesome job of reminding us what this war was but it also gives us a perspective as to how these people survived both during and after the war. Ultimately, as I've said, this game is a history lesson. It's showing us how wasteful war was. But it also shows us throughout all of this tragedy, the human race will always endure and will always remember their sacrifice. I've been Kiski, Weapons Free.